afternoon, folks. So apparently, Western welder welding shirts are not fire retardant, which fuck. Afternoon, folks. So apparently, my cool-looking Western welder welding shirt is actually not fire retard re retardant, and therefore I can't really wear it in school. I'm I'm going to Hobart now, so I need. I need protection, you know, and um, apparently Western Welder Welding Apparel, you know, made for welders by a welder, um, can't be used in school as is. I noticed that everybody else had the fire retardant patch on their sleeve and I didn't have one and I kind of, I never really thought about it. I figured, you know, Western Welder, it's a welding shirt, so it'd be fire retardant, but apparently their whole line's... Uh, non-FR, so um, not really looking to bend a lot of rules while I'm there at school, you know, I'm, I'm paying some good money to go there and I don't really want to screw around, so we're going to have to figure this out, but instead of buying a whole new one, one of those stupid looking green ones, um, and well, you know, because I go pretty hard, uh, I looked around on the internet a bit, and apparently you can take some of this borax, some boric acid, dissolve it in water and you can actually treat stuff to be fire resistant um, not entirely clear on the chemistry of it but these chemicals derive from the element boron and from what I understand again on kind of a preliminary search is that it like kind of when it comes into contact with a flame or heat it like sort of forms a char layer that doesn't really allow the flame to continue on to the material so it kind of treats it. There's a few other homemade ways of doing this. I guess some derive from like ammonium and, and some other chemicals that produce nitrogen, which kind of snuffs out the fire when it comes in contact with it. But this is what I had to work with. I'm gonna try this out. I got a bunch of these cotton red bandanas. I'll leave at least one untreated. I'll mix up a few different ratios. You know, looking around, there's a few different recipes, primarily different in the, the ratios of the, the, the borax to the boric acid. So we're going to try a few of those, then we're going to set them on fire, and, uh, you know, we're going to see if it's bullshit or not. And I want to make sure it works before I try and treat my shirt here. But if it works, that will be pretty cool. Um, if, if I am convinced that it's fire retard, retardant enough to uh, wear a class, then I'll order one of those FR patches on eBay and put it right on my sleeve, iron it on, and everyone will be none the wiser. should be pretty cool. So I'll get at it. So the first ratio I found, and it doesn't really seem like there's a whole lot of difference. I haven't read up a bit more, but this is the first one I'll do. Maybe I'll do another one. First ratio called for 100 parts water to 5 parts boric acid to 6 parts uh, borax. So I got about 20 cups of warm water in this, this here container. And that, if I'm correct, equates out to a little less than a cup and a quarter. Of, of the borax. So I'm going to put that in and dissolve that and then it's going to be about a cup of the boric acid. So, so we'll mix this in and let that dissolve up a bit. It really should be warm to, to help this stuff dissolve. I don't think it'll really dissolve very well if it's cold. Alright, let's do the boric acid now. Yeah. Looks so wrong, but it feels so right. I really give you a hell of a tutor with this stuff too, damn. Alright. Try and see how much we got in this. I guess this one was about a pound, so should be plenty plenty in there to get about a cup. And again, this stuff wasn't terribly expensive. Probably, you know, don't want to waste too much of it. But if it works, then I'd consider that pretty inexpensive for what it what it is. All right, got that cup there. We'll save those for later. Into the mix. 
Yeah, wow, that's tough. I could definitely see where you're going to want to have the water warm. That probably wouldn't even dissolve very well at all. All right, it's fairly well dissolved now. Still pretty warm. It does say don't inhale on it, so that was just a joke. Um, but I don't really know what this stuff does, so I'm just taking the safety measure of wearing gloves and stuff like that. Um, I'm going to put a couple of these in and then I don't think it says that they really need to soak very much. It says kind of just get them wet, make sure that they are uh, thoroughly wet, but I'll probably let them, let them soak in there for a few minutes and then just kind of let them dry out. So I guess there's going to be a little bit of a lapse here in this video, but That'll be all right. All right. I'll get back to you guys when it's all dry and we'll set them on fire. You, yeah, you. Yeah. I just thought of this. I figured it was worth making a note of actually. That one over there, I just took them out so they're still wet. But that one over there, I really wrung that one out. Try and kind of get all the water mixture that I could out of it. And this one, I just kind of pulled out and I'm just letting it sit over there. So, uh, see if it, kind of just curious to see if it makes any sort of difference. If it, uh, is wrung out like that or if it, uh, is better if it soaks. Just, just something I thought of right there. Figured I'd, I'd make a note of that and, and we'll see how it goes. All right, well, it's been kind of a while since I started this video, but uh, I gotta figure I'd knock it out tonight. These are all dry, it's been quite a while, and I wanna test them out now. So what I'm gonna do, this one is a control one. I got like a piece I ripped off a generator and, and like part of a microwave I ripped up too. Fairly inflammable stuff. I got a fire extinguisher and some water here in case it gets out of hand, but I don't think it will. So what I did is this one's a control. It's just an untreated bandana. I just got it hung up on that metal frame there with a uh, magnet and I'm gonna just hold a lighter underneath it. It's supposed to be like kind of a low energy flame. If it's if it's like a torch or something like that, probably it'll at least just burn a hole through it. So it's not really like a fair test for what this is supposed to do, but I'm just gonna kind of hold a butane lighter underneath it and I, I cut it up. I'm gonna cut each of the treated ones also up into a few parts and kind of light them independently just to get a little bit more data out of it, I, I guess, instead of just doing a one-off. So I'll set these up and we'll see how it goes. All right, this is control, untreated bandana, test one. Well, it catches on fire and it's staying on fire. Not terribly quickly, but I mean, obviously it would catch on fire if you were wearing that. That's about enough. All right, so fairly flammable. Um, I think what I'm actually gonna do is kind of save some of these other control ones to do right after, after the treated ones just for better closer comparison but next I'll set up the first one this next one is test one of the one that I dumped in made sure it was wet and then I pulled it out and I wrung all the water out of it and let it dry so uh, the other ones I have um, the, the one I just didn't wring it out I let it dry and then there's another one that I actually let it soak in the solution overnight and then let it dry on its own so those are going to be kind of the three tests for uh, differences I didn't end up making another batch because uh, based on what I read, it didn't really seem like it made all that much of a difference. But here's test one of the first treated one that was wrung out. Well, well, it definitely started to char up a little bit. Probably that spot would catch on fire if. I held it there long enough or had a hotter flame, but that's definitely more fire retardant than 
the untreated one. There's a little area there that's kind of glowing still. We'll try it on this other side. All right, well that one seems to be kind of a success. Let's try another one from the same same batch. Oh. That was a control one actually, damn it. <clears throat> well, had a bit of a screw up there, grabbed the untreated one by accident, but uh, I'm kind of glad I did because that was a drastic difference and uh, how it caught on fire. So this, this is another treated one from the same batch. I just want to do another one of these and then I'll grab some of the other ones, see if those fare any better. It's holding flames a little bit. Definitely not catch like it was. It's kind of running up on those seams there. Hmm. It's running right up the edge, but it's not really engulfing like, like the other one. It's kind of got a glowing ember line there. I'll call that good. And these stink. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Not the treated ones, but even the untreated ones. I don't know. These probably come from China, I'd assume. It's probably all the coronavirus burning out of them. But uh, anyway, I, I think that's good enough for that type. I'm going to grab the next one and we'll see how that goes. So now this one is from the bandana that when I, I soaked it and pulled it out, I just let it dry. I didn't wring it out like the first one. So it, I might just be imagining it, but it does seem to have a little bit more, it seems to have a little different feel to it, as if some of that solution absorbed a bit more. So let's see if it performs any better. Definitely fire retardant. I'm douse that out. I, I wanted to see if it would run up the edge like that other one did, uh, the one I rung out, but it, it didn't. You see what I'm talking about? The damn trains, it's, it's, it, it's constant. <clears throat> but anyway, um, I'm gonna cut another strip of a untreated one just to kinda refresh on that. See that pretty much catches right on. I'm just gonna stop it so that it doesn't stink the place up. But there's definitely a clear difference, and that's all I did was was mix up that solution that I did in the first video. Cool. So um, I'm gonna grab the third one now. So now this this uh, final one here, this sat in the solution overnight, so it had much more contact with the solution than the the first two did, and I let it dry on its own. I didn't wring this one out either, so. If that's going to make any difference, this one should be the best performing one as, as far as uh, fire resistance goes because it had the most contact with that solution and should have most of um, those those Bork elements in it, which I did end up trying to read a little bit more out of it. And, and I, I guess part of what, what these um, compounds do is uh, like borax is used for flux a lot of times, like boric acid and, and those sort of elements are used in like paste, paste flux and, and flake flux for like metalworking, soldering and stuff like that. And what it does it is it kind of absorbs the oxides. So when you're sweating pipe or something like that, it kind of absorbs those oxides. So I'm assuming that its application here, uh, the, the, the boric elements of that are taking up the oxygen and just taking away one of the three elements of the fire triangle and, and suppressing the flame. You can see it still goes a little bit 
because it's in the atmosphere, but it, it definitely makes a difference. And I think that's more um, what it has to do with than a Charlie or whatever. I, I thought it was originally, but let's see how this one does. Hardly one to hold a flame, so that looks pretty good. And I'll just put up my last strip of the control one again, just to kind of refresh ourselves on, on what it does when it's untreated. Yeah, yeah, it would catch that whole thing on fire pretty quickly. All right, I'm going to let the place air out for a bit. So that was a pretty cool little experiment, and I'd call it a success. I'm, I, I am going to make another batch and fire treat this jacket, but I'm probably not going to wear it to class as much as, as you saw with those bandanas. It doesn't allow the flame to really flare up and continue, which is kind of the point of having your welding jacket be fire retardant, is that you don't, like, catch on fire from from like an ember line on there but as you saw it charred through so even I got another jacket that I use at school but even if an ember lands on there it doesn't flame up and, and catch you on fire but it will char that area up and it will wear out and make a hole so um, I, I do want to fire treat this one but I'm probably not gonna wear it for a lot of the heavy welding I'm in stick welding right now so it would definitely mark it up which, which I don't want to do because because I think it's cool but Anyway, I figured that was a cool experiment to do, and it seemed like it worked pretty well. So, based on the tests, it seemed like letting the fabric soak in the solution and let it dry on its own, give it as much contact with that solution as you can, seemed to perform a little bit better. So, yeah, seemed to be a success to me. I'll take care.